Hi, this is a Numeric Citizen. In today's video, introducing the Craft Bible 2.0. In this video, I'm happy to introduce the Craft Bible 2.0. But first, I want to talk about why the project uh, was started back in July of uh, 2022. Um, at the time, I felt the need to have a kind of a central hub where everything related to craft docs will be would be um, organized in a central uh, website. And at that time, I felt that uh, we had some information coming from the craft uh, website. We had the information coming from Reddit, from Slack, from Circle, um, and I wanted to kind of create this central place for either for new craft user to get in touch with the application or for more expert user who wants to find more detailed or more advanced information. So as a, the result of this, I created a website built using craft, obviously. And uh, this is what it used to look at up until recently. Um, the website was um, a kind of a collection of different resources and formation divided in different teams. And um, there was also even a guest book at the end where you could uh, sign your name and give us give me some comment about uh, the Craft Bible. Um, as you can imagine, it was a very uh, ex ex extensive project because it requires a lot of attention to collecting information, writing articles, um, updating the website, even though Craft is very um, helpful and makes me efficient at updating uh, a document, it did require a lot of work to uh, to maintain. And I, I was kind of pretty busy because this is what you're cur currently seeing is all the updates that were um, uh, put into the Craft Bible over the months uh, since the uh, very beginning. And um, yeah, so now I think uh, I was due for something new, something more profound, something more, even more uh, useful for craft users. Are you ready to see the version two of the Craft Bible? Here it is. So as you can see, there is some familiarity in the design compared to the previous version. Yet, uh, I think I'm using the best um, um, visual design that I can get with the current release of Craft to make it more enjoyable to uh, to browse and to navigate inside of the content. And if you compare this version of the Craft Bible to uh, the previous version, uh, you will see that many of the uh, team and section have been ported into the new version, but there is a few other things that were added to the uh, content of the Craft Bible. One thing is the deep dive guides. Um, if you go into, into this, you'll see that there is currently three uh, deep dive guides that I created um, surrounding the use of Craft. And in those guides, I'm addressing very specific areas of Craft that needs more explanation for maybe uh, a new user or even um, uh, more expert user of Craft. And uh, I ex expect to expand on that uh, further as craft evolves in the future. I will be adding more guides into uh, this section. For example, there is a guide that explains how you can navigate uh, and better understand the difference between teams and spaces in craft. So I created all that guide, very detailed, a lot of explanation, a lot of question and answers regarding the use of uh, teams and spaces within craft. So this is the kind of information that you will see. And there is more. If you have been following me for a while, you may remember that I used to produce those craft uh, release analysis reports where after each release of craft, I would dive in and see what's new, what has changed, what are the new features, and explain about those new features or changes. Um, you could uh, access those reports right from this website. And each report were very detailed in a sense that you would get a detailed overview of what the new uh, feature has been added to Craft, what has changed, and also a lot of explanation and example or illustration using screenshot, screenshots of the new uh, features. 
also there was this section where uh, I would comment maybe on more negative side where things maybe has not changed and should have been changed and also what's missing and some uh, forward-looking comments regarding what we could see next to uh, in the next few releases of craft um, so those uh, uh, new release uh, reports will be included in the Craft Bible 2.0, but there is more. As you can see, the Craft Bible 2.0 as what well, it is actually a, a major undertaking and requires a lot of my time to uh, to maintain and update in a, a timely manner. And um, as you can see, there is a lot uh, in there, and there is more coming soon. And um, so I decided to make the Craft Bible available as a subscription on the platform named Gumroad. And so I'll share the link in the show note where you can access the page to this subscription. And here it is. This is uh, the actual uh, description page where you can see all the details of what you are currently getting. And there is two subscription tiers. The first one is the base one where you get everything that you saw earlier. But if you want to get the craft release reports with each release of craft by email, you'll get those if you subscribe to the full uh, subscription. And the pricing for that is very cheap. Uh, the first, the base uh, subscription is $15 for three months. And the full subscription is only $20 for three months. So during that time, you will get access to all the content but those subscribing to the full subscription will get the craft release uh, report analysis and more deep dives also and more perks along the way. So I think it's a very reasonable ask for me to uh, provide that, uh, inform that information to all the craft user community. And I enjoy, I hope you enjoy this um, subscription as much as I, I do to put it together. Now let's see how it works. Once you go to the Gumroad website following the bookmark that I'm sharing in the show note, you will be able to uh, subscribe to one of the subscription tier, uh, enter your payment information, and once you subscribe, you will receive an email confirmation. And I'll also receive an email confirmation with your email address that you use to subscribe. I'll use your email address to enable the access to the Craft Bible. And once it's done, you will receive an email telling you that you've been invited to see a craft document, which is the Craft Bible 2.0. There will be a link that you will click on that. You will be asked to enter your email address. You enter the same one that you use for uh, subscribing to the Craft Bible 2.0. And then you will receive another email with a six digit code that you will enter is a two step authentication mechanism that you will uh, use this code to enter in the next page. Once it's done, you will be asked to enter your name, first name and last name, and then you're done. You have access to this wonderful Craft Bible 2.0. So this is it, the Craft Bible 2.0 subscription. I hope you enjoy for those who will join. There's already a few of you who already did. And I'm super excited about this project and I hope uh, there is a lot more of you that will join and I'm already at work for the next uh, updates to the uh, content of the Bible and so thanks for watching, thanks for being there and see you guys for another one in the future. Bye!